keyboard's freaking out. No, Whoa. stop it. Alright, I'm coming to you. Special shipment you was asking after. So this is for joy. What a crumbling disaster. Spread snake fight. Puppy. Eyes are clouded and gray, but it stares at you with a it appears confused. Damn it, I, I forgot right to pick to up a shovel. <laughs> we'll have to come back for that. Yeah, we'll have to go see if we can find one. I found one earlier, I thought I picked it up. Oh, well, let's talk to the crazy guy down here. Is that thing eating corpses? It's a corpse eater. I have the flower so we can give it to him. The creature heaves through lips gummed with human gore. It turns to you with great effort, pain apparent in every movement, and madness screams from its wide, bloodshot eyes. You, 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 you. Quite lost. Quite lost. Quite lost. Careful, or they'll cross your wires. <laughs> He makes me think of uh, Angron. No, totally. 40k. A little query. Where grows the yarrow? Mm. Mm. Quickly now, for I haven't much time. The creature gingerly takes the plant into his bloodied hands. He runs his fingertips over the white flowers. His panting breath slows. Darling, dear. Dear, darling child. Hello, Yarrow Girl. Can it really be you? The creature clenches the plant tightly. His breath quickens. He seems liable to lunge at you at the drop of a pin. You wouldn't understand. A father's pride. A father's love. The creature begins to weep. Fast, silent tears spill from his eyes as he clutches the little cluster of flowers to his heart. For you, my ring. Heart of me, name of Migo. Thank you. There you go, dude. Go be crazy somewhere else. What's this? Something. Is it not enough that you travel? We go on then. Bark away. I need to dig here. Damn it. I'm gonna go see if I can go buy a shovel. Good thought. Mushrooms, I need them. It's too, it's too tight. I told him I'd known exactly, didn't I?
You there? I'm looking for an inmate. He wears a large bronze ring with a dragon stamped into it. Name of Migo. Have you seen him? You have seen him? Tell me, where was he? And you're... you're very sure it was him. She inspects the ring closely. This can't be. You said he was upon the uh, beach, yes? Okay. I need to have a look myself. What did I do? This, I gave this, this girl Migo's ring. Be. Oh. Which sucks, because that ring is an awesome heal. Oh, I guess it's not awesome, but it's a nice heal. Oh, there's a fight up here. I'll wait for you. The void overtake and devour us all. Ooh. Stream is lagging. All sorts of crazy. Where are you? I'm up in the north. Coming. Pick a fight with those card players? Yeah, them. Yeah, let's kick their butts. Alright. Ready when you are. Yep. Hey, Chomp. Looky, looky here, mates. A fresh face. We love fresh faces, don't we? Oh, yes, we do. Why don't you join us in a round of cards? First hands on the house. <laughs> Chuff to you, Chief. Here are your cards. You're up first. You glance at your hand. Two purple monarchs. A hard hand to beat. Quiet the hand, Freshy. Unfortunately, two is less than five, and that's how many purples I've got. I reckon that makes me the winner. I'll be having your fee, then. Just my bit of fun, Sharpie. I'm sure the Red soldier. No one gets along without paying the internment fee. So, let's make this easy. Empty your pockets. <laughs> I don't think so. Yes. Well, you've heard of it now, ain't ya? Go on, then, Freshy. Turn them out. Lone wolf, eh? If you lot are as fearsome as they say, how'd you let a troop of goons like the Reds get their hands on ya? Ralvo looks you up and down. You know what? Checking I'm in a good out. mood. Take a hike, Freshy. <laughs> Everyone's scared of my dude. That's awesome. You hear that, mate? This cub's got claws. Okay, cool. Yeah, oh, fight me. Good. I was gonna say, yeah, let's make him fight. Yeah, I was like, no, chump. It's hard to tell who's the bad guys. Here you go. Yeah. Nice. Everyone get happy. Name is Bottle Top. <laughs> All right. All right. Stream lag uh, seems to have fixed itself. Good. Good. Had to keep tweaking settings until it seemed to be okay. Did he just eat? He just ate and fought. I did. Oh. I That's like, all I had for life. I have no health potions or do anything. Do I have any potions? I don't know if I have any potions.
slay this undead guy we got. Sets people on fire. Holy crap, it's a big range. Exploding Boom! Oh, that was cool. Play dead. That still cracks me up. That was funny. That was really funny. Yep. <laughs> I, I want. Might have to make him a thief at some point in one game and just have him steal shit when someone's gonna catch him just fall over. Oh god, dead. Yep. Oh, I think I hurt myself. That's cool. The symbol I drew on the ground was pretty cool. Alright, little gross man. Slug has no resistance though. I might come over here and get him off you. Oh, that's a physical armor attack. Damn it. I thought that was a, a magic armor. Magic, yeah. No, I'm not gonna bull rush him. I'm just gonna go backstab. Oh, you can't backstab, that's right. That's a skill. I'll res you if you go down. Nope. Yep, I went down. <laughs> yep. That fire lit everything on fire that it shouldn't have. Can you res anyone? You can. Pull you over here to safety. Thank you. And I, I don't have anything to heal you. God damn it. That's all right. All right, slug. Who's this? That's me. Will this hurt everyone? There's a health potion on the table. I'll grab after the battle's over. Okay. I'm gonna make it so he gets lit on fire. Oh man, low piece. Uh, she was already on fire. Everybody I'm on fire was too. On fire. Yep. That was annoying because it said that skill was uh. Only her enemies. But the whole area got lit on fire. Get him. She's down. Good. Takes one. All right, I'm gonna taunt this guy off of you. Nope. 
Lucas Slug, he's in front of you. Yeah. Thinking that too. I'm just gonna do this. Slam. Boom! I don't remember what difficulty I chose. Alright, well, he turned around. That's good. Bravo's only got seven life. Yeah, does he go before you? Yeah. Yeah, he goes before you. I'll take him out. What? Ow. Why did it hit you? <laughs> there we go. Oh no, you caught me. <laughs> what the hell? It hit you the first time. I, I rolled a one. Must Critical do. miss. Right in front of you. Yep. Can I just all in on your ass? Bam! 13 life left. Ugh. Ow! Ow! I died again. We'll get you. No, I li you lit me on fire. <laughs> I know. Oh, see, I just lit myself on fire. All right. All right. Good to know that the undead guys. Ah! We're all on fire, and we're all dying. All right, let me res you. Res you. See, this is generally why I don't play magic users, because I end up blowing myself up. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Oh, identifying glass. Neat. Now I can uh, inspect stuff. Should be a bedroll. Damn it. No. It's too. It's too tight. That's right. I'm sleeping anyway. <laughs> Oh, that glowing thing around your head is the rested buff, because my dude just got it, too. I should go shell... Sh I should go shell shit. I gotta go talk to the blacksmith. She can buy some of my stuff. The woman is scrabbling at her throat, as though she can hardly breathe. What? As she catches sight of you, recognition flashes in her terrified eyes. She drops her hands from her throat and starts hyperventilating. Ben! Ben Mest! Ivan! Ben Mest! You killed them! You killed them! He killed them all! Murderer! Keep him away from me! Help! Somebody! Keep him away! Stay back. Stay that lady back. doesn't like me, apparently. Keep that monster bed nest away. What'd you do to her? I don't know. Apparently she knows of <laughs> my dude. And she's like, he's killed everyone! Stay away from me! Uh, oh, yay, yay, more story stuff. As you approach the blacksmith, you feel a bony hand on your arm. Fane leans in and whispers in your ear. If it would be acceptable, I have an inquiry for this human. It is Hey! Fane has an interaction with the blacksmith. And if it would not be nice. acceptable, well, that would render this entire conversation rather awkward. Fane approaches the blacksmith and quietly speaks to her. You can't overhear much, but he seems to be gesturing towards her head an awful lot. 
Fane's words are quiet, but you hear the blacksmith repeat, Face Ripper, in shock. She slowly starts to back away. <laughs> I think Fane just asked for her face. What is it with creeps like you and Master Niles? Makes I sense. told him to slither back to his dungeon, and you can get too, freak! Fane backs away, scratching his head. All right, it seems that didn't go as he'd expected. He's lost his <laughs> He she went up and something I want your head. That's funny. Alright, this guy cracks me up. Amidst a crowd of screws. And what you after? I ain't. Just seeing how it's made. She's clever, Dallas. Made the She looks up. You looking to buy something? Nothing of mine needs testing. Pay or walk. Just don't waste any more. to find this Boris fellow. Up as you approach. What do you need? By all means, get an eye. Still talking to the blacksmith? Yeah, I'm trying to clear out my inventory of some crap I don't need. Nice. Cause I am poor. Blacksmith talk to you. Alright, what do you want to do first? Uh, whatever. Alright, what can we do? We got, uh, we can do Griff's test line. Yeah, we might, probably should start with Griff, huh? Because most of the stories arc off of his crap. Fit for beasts. And that way you can romance your butter. Don't make me say <laughs> Listen, I can butter. help you if you just shut up, elf. Butter up your butter. Butter. Butter me up, sugar. This clown, you caught him stealing from my kitchen. <clears throat> Still won't say where he stashed my supplies. Sound like someone you'd let off with a slap on the wrist. Caught him red-handed trying to make off with a second crate after he took the first. <laughs> Went down like a rent boy when we grabbed him. Easy. Supplies. A uh, crate of food. A citrus in particular. <laughs> he'll talk or he'll die quiet. All I want is my supplies. <clears throat> Happy to let this clown die in a gutter instead of my kitchen. Bring back my crate and you got yourself. Ain't been here long, have ya? <clears throat> no one gets to have it all. No one starves any. He twirls his knife between his fingers. 
divine's gone. This blade is the only god watching over Fort Joy. Listen up. Not like this. There's too many of them. Alright. Cool. Got in Prisondale. I was... it was... Please, tell me. Tell me. <coughs> so close to the dream. It's been so long. You... They don't call us dreamers for nothing, I'm afraid. My purpose is to dream, and for that I need to sleep. Now, if you'll excuse me. Supplies? <coughs> you mean the oranges, I suppose. Though I'd guess Mr. Griff is more upset about the Drudene than the Citrus. The Drudene Griff cleverly smuggles into the prison, of course. Stuffed inside the oranges. You don't know. It's not the oranges, but the dreams he's after. Same as I, though. I have the Drudene. It makes you master of all you see when you sleep. The dreamer is not the play. It may be hard for you to understand. My kind... We dream for the greater good. What we see can predict the truth. Can even sh- Before I was caught, before I was brought here, I saw a vision. The void woken, slain, divinity restored. But just as I was about to see how it happened, the magisters beat down my door. This is my last chance to find out the secret. So you uh, see, sure. I cannot give back the Drudene. Not only for myself, but for all of us. My dreams are my gift. They may be our salvation, too. Oh, nice. Blood. Oh, yeah. And it won't be long before he'll have it. With all his thugs lurking about. It stick. Fine, fine. Take the Drudene. I'll find more. Another way. Boy. Now we talk to Sybil. I love you! Amid the squalor of Fort Joy, you suddenly spot an elf with diamond features, regal and radiant, but cold too, and sharper than any knife. She was the one who sat rolling dice in the ship that went under, deciding fates with every roll. Or so she said. Her eyes are focused on a lizard some distance away, and you get the distinct feeling he's an unfortunate man indeed to be trapped in her tiger-like gaze. She freezes under your stare for a moment, then whirls and grabs you in a stranglehold. You feel the tip of a long needle being pushed a little ways into your neck. You caught me off guard. No one catches me off guard. Better tell me who you really are, or this time, I'll let my needle do the licking. <laughs> you can see quality. But lone wolves, amateurs all, or so I thought. You do tread on soft paws, if I'm... A push, a pivot, and now you suddenly face her. The needle still all too deeply embedded in the side of your throat. <laughs> Despite the precariousness of your situation, you notice something that remained undetected in the gloom of the ship. A flaw in her diamond features. A curiously shaped scar on her left cheek. Because it is my desire to question him intensely. As for the reason, you're staring at it. You see, once upon a bad old time, a lizard cut this thing, this living scar, into my cheek. The mark of a slave, but now I'm free, of sorts. And I've traced that lizard here to Fort Joy. I intend to raise the subject with him. She drives the needle in deeper and whispers. In truth, it does not matter in the least who you really are. You saw me mark my prey. 
You could warn him, save him, or kill him before I get my chance. That makes you a liability. That makes you needle feed. <laughs> a bright sparkle of laughter follows your proposal. <laughs> How amusing. I admit I had not seen that twist coming. I was certain the pitiful begging was about to begin. Make your case and do it quickly. Why should I join you? Escape. <laughs> How you do tickle me. Most of the misguided deers around here would argue such a thing is impossible. <laughs> well, oh, little needle mine, what should I do? Push or pull? Hmm, the agony of choice. You know what? Today is a rather fine day. Sunshine and an easy breeze. Yes, I'll let you live. I'll even agree to travel with you, provided we talk to that lizard I mentioned. I'm not quite sure the weather will save him. With a casual flick of the wrist, she withdraws the needle from your neck and smiles, as if she just invited you to sit down for tea. Let's discuss our respective roles then, shall we? You, me, and Death will be playing many a round of hide-and-seek. So, what role would you like me to play? As a rogue, my speciality is stealth. The quick silence of the dagger striking unseen. That said, I'm perfectly lethal wielding any weapon or magic. So, the choice is yours. Suits me fine. Lead on, or better than follow me. But wait, you seem to have quite a few followers already. We'll be far too conspicuous traveling in a caravan like that. Return to me once you've culled a couple. Culled. Uh, I have to get rid of Fane. Where is he? Do we want Sybil more? Because I can take her instead of Louise. No, no. Play with who you want. I'll I'll probably do Fane in a, travel with me? a single Go player. Then, bark away. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can find any... Are you certain you want to dismiss your companion? Uh, yes. I want to dismiss. Are you certain you want to dismiss? Yes, I can imagine. Go on then. Play in the sun. Yeah, I, I need to know Sybil's story. So I'm you're not quite okay. certain you'll ever sleep soundly with Sybil in any sort of proximity, but at least she's on your side for the moment. Okay, Sybil, that's her name. All right, let's go Sibyl. fuck up your <laughs> captor guy.